Hello guys, this is Seesum and I'm back with the most requested video by you guys through my social media and lots and lots of DMs. Steaming hot momo with plenty of jewel to submerse, this my friend will take you straight to the streets of Nepal. Momo is a really classic and one of the staple foods of Nepal. When you visit Nepal, you're gonna find it in every corner. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my recipe of Joel Momo. Hope you guys enjoy! Let's get started with the prepping. For today's recipe, I like to divide in two parts. One, Momo or the dumpling. Number two, Joel or the special Nepali sauce. First thing first, we need to make the dough for the wrapper. Now, if you can find the dumpling wrapper in your nearest grocery store, that would work too. But if you want the real Nepali momo test, like in Nepal, this is how they make it. Here I'm taking 2 cups of all-purpose flour, add lukewarm water little by little and start mixing it. We are not making the dough soft at this point cause we need to rest the dough for at least 30 minutes. We need to give a good 5 minutes of kneading where all the sides of the bowl comes out clean and our dough is smooth and firm. Now we got to cover this and let it rest for at least 30 minutes. While the dough is resting, let's prepare the filling. Here I have ground chicken, chopped cabbage, spring onions and chopped red onions. Let's mix it all together and if you want the exact measurement, I have listed down in the description box. Here I have taken ground chicken but you can use any meat of your choice. In Nepal, buffalo momo is the most popular one. Let's add some ginger garlic paste and mix it again. Now add about 2 tablespoons of any momo masala which you can find in an Asian store. This time we will not mix it yet cause we are gonna wait for the final touch. Let's heat the oil about 3 tablespoons and add the fenugreek seed. As it crackles and turns dark, switch off the flame and add the turmeric. Then pour this hot oil on top of the masala and let it sizzle. By doing this, it helps to cook the masala and add the juiciness in the momo. Now let's mix all the mixture really well so that everything's come together. It's all about bringing the nice aroma and mixing the herbs and spices with the meat. At the end, add salt to taste and mix it very well. Now this momo filling is all set and ready to be wrapped. Our dough is ready, let's give it a light kneading before we make it into small pieces. Dust the space with flour and take the quarter size of piece. It's very simple, just push pull and turn, push pull and turn, push pull and turn. Since I'm right handed, I am taking the wrapper on my left hand and adding the filling on it. Start with the pinch on the corner and that's our base. Now with the left fingers fold and with the right fingers pinch. At the end just twist and press to close. Let's do it one more time. Start with the pinch, fold and pinch, fold and pinch, fold and pinch. Trust me guys, it's very easy. You just have to have a hang of it. At the end, just twist and press to close. Let's get the water boiling. I like to add salt cause it helps to boil the water faster and adds the taste to the momo from outside in. While the water is boiling, let's start making our special sauce. I will list all the ingredients down below in the description box. Let's heat the pan in medium high and roast the soy bean. Here I have got the brown soy bean. But if you can't find the brown kind, the white soybean works too. You just have to roast it. When you hear the crackling sound and the skin of it starts to crack, add the sesame seed and roast it too. When sesame seeds also starts to crackle, then turn off the flame and put it in the blender. Mm -hmm. 
add the roasted peanuts and blend it all together. Blend it, it until it's all powdered. In the same pan, add about 2 tablespoons of oil and heat it. Crackle some cumin seeds, add the diced tomatoes and saute it. Add some dried chilies. Not only it helps to bring the kick of spice, but also brings the nice color to it. Now add some salt to taste and coriander cumin powder and continue to saute it. Now add some lapsi powder also known as hog plant powder but if you can't find this you can add the lime juice as well. Add some water so that it won't burn and stick to the pan. Cover the pan with the lid for 2 minutes or until the tomatoes are soft and cooked. Our tomatoes are soft and cooked. Now turn off the flame and let it cool down. After it cools down, put it in the same blender where we blended the soybean and the nuts earlier. Add some water to the mixture to blend it smooth. After blending it all smooth and fine, add some chopped cilantro to it, but save some for the later use. Now blend it all together for the last time. After blending all, it should look like somewhat like this. Pour this mixture to the pan for the final step and the finishing touch. We do not need any heat or the cooking at this point, so please do not turn on the flame. Add some water in the same blender so that we don't waste any sauce and it helps to clean the blender too. Add the water as your desired consistency. It's all up to you, either you like the thick or the runny sauce. For the final touch, Add the chopped cilantro that we saved earlier and the salt cause we added the water to the sauce. Our special Nepali sauce for the momo is ready. Now let's cook some momo. Spray the oil on the steamer so that the momo doesn't stick to it. Place the momo leaving some space in between cause when it's cooked it puffs off. Make sure the water is fully boiling when you place the steamer on it. Put the lid on and steam it for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, it puffs like a balloon and when you take the lid off, it shrinks back. That's when you know it's cooked and ready to be served. Following these simple steps, you also can make Jol Momo in your home. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.